All right, now we're looking at mutually exclusive projects and comparing them. So basically mutually exclusive projects are just ones that you can only pick one or the other. You can have more than two, but you, like for example, in this, in this problem, we want to replace a pump and a refinery, and we can either buy pump A or pump B. You can't really install both pumps. Uh, so, but in this case, uh, what we want to do is you calculate net present value of either alternative, uh, and that was going to be what you're going to use to uh, decide which is the pump to use. Uh, we can also use payback period, but it just doesn't give a strong open argument. Um, so let's look at this. Model A is going to cost $9,000, and it's going to bring in $2,500 per year. Model B is going to cost more, $16,000, and it's going to bring in more money, $4,000 per year. Uh, both pumps are going to last six years. This is important that they have the same life cycle. Uh, we'll, deal, we'll do an example in the next video where they don't have the same life cycle. Uh, but for now, uh, this, that's the purpose of this video. Uh, and then we're going to assume there's no salvage value and the minimum acceptable rate of return is 12%. So which pump should you buy? We have the net present value formula uh, conveniently already written out for us. Uh, now this one is the special case when we have the same annual net cash flow, right? Um, but I guess first of all, I'll start with the first term just in case you forget what all this stuff means. A naught is the capital cost of the project. This is a negative term. Uh, a, this basically this whole term is just the present value of an annuity formula, uh, where A is our net annual cash flow, so that either that's going to be $2,500 or $4,000 for the two different cases. Um, I, again, we always used to use I as our minimum acceptable rate of return, and N here is just our number of years. So, for model A, let's do A, we're going to have our net present value, okay, net present value is going to equal negative $9,000 plus um, A, this will be 2,500 times, and we're just going to go ahead and fill this out, so we have 1 minus, well, 1 plus I, I is 0 0.12, right, for 12%, so this is just going to be one point. 1, 2 to the power of negative 6, right? n is 6. All right, and then we're going to have this over i, and again, i is our minimum acceptable rate of return, which is 0 0.12. Okay, so if we just go calculate this one step further, we can simplify a little uh, negative 9,000. There's no sense in me doing this by hand. Just type this in your calculator if you want to confirm, uh, but this will be 2,500 times all this stuff. That's going to give us ten thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars and fifty two cents so when we add these two terms together uh, what we do is we get this value this positive value that's one thousand two hundred and seventy eight dollars and fifty two cents I guess um, all right so that's good this is a positive value if you recall from the previous videos uh, when net present value is positive, that means that uh, you can tentatively accept this project because you're going to make at least your minimum rate of return. Um, if you forget about that stuff or you haven't seen it, just go to the website www.engineerforfree.com. That's the number four. Or just go on my YouTube channel uh, and find the engineering economics playlist there. And you, can, you can catch up on all those other things. All right. So... However, project B, what we want to do is we want to compare these, right? We want to figure out which one has a better net present value, and then we're going to pick that one. So net present value for project B. So this is going to cost negative 16, the capital cost is $16,000, uh, but we're going to bring in some money. It's going to bring in $4,000 each year, and then we're going to present value of an annuity this, so it's going to be 1 minus 1.12. Again, that's coming right from here, 1 plus 0 0.12, where? Mar is 0.12. The power of negative 6 over 0.12. Okay, so net present value, negative 16,000 plus this term. Again, if you just punch this in your calculator, it's pretty easy. You'll see that this is actually going to become plus 16,445.25. All right, and when we add these two terms together, we're going to get $445.63. All right, so both of these net present values are greater than zero, so they're both going to bring in more than our minimum acceptable rate of return, which is 12%. Maybe it's 13 or something, but um, the higher value is going to win. So basically, just by this, you can tell that, hey, 
we're going to make more money if we choose A. So you want to buy pump A. Um, if you were thinking about doing... Uh, if you were thinking about doing payback period, well, obviously you could see that this one, the payback period, is going to be between, um, looks like, three to four years, and this one's going to be exactly four years. Um, but that, uh, there's not really any point in doing that because it's not a strong argument, but this one would win anyways with the payback period. Okay, I will see you in the next video, and we will go over uh, mutually exclusive projects that don't have the same life cycle. And in case you forget, A was the winner.